Hi, everybody. We're back and welcome to Daily Bible Study for Super Newbies. Today is January 29th, and today we are talking about Genesis chapter 45, verses 1 through 28 on pages 83 and 84 of your Life Application Study Bible, NIV. Now, today is an exciting day because before we have learned that Joseph was kind of messing with his brothers a little bit. I mean, they... <clears throat> really had it common. They sold him into slavery after all, right? <laughs> he had some he had some years of pretty tough times because of what his brothers did. So he was uh he was testing them in the lessons that we had just before. He was testing them to see if their character had actually changed, to see if they were reformed from the behaviors that caused them to do so many awful things and to treat him so terrible. They, he also Joseph also wanted to test his brothers to see if they were mistreating Benjamin. So he called for Benjamin to be brought to him. But they finally, they finally got so whacked out about all of this happening. They were so terrified of him that Joseph couldn't contain himself any longer. And he had to reveal who he was to his brothers. So after making everyone leave the room, Joseph told them who he was. He asked, is father still alive? And the brothers were just too scared to answer because Joseph was this super powerful guy in Egypt. He was the governor of all the lands. And here they were coming to him asking for food. And he's been messing with them for the last, you know, however period of time. And now they're just looking at him like, oh my gosh, this is our brother. Are you going to kill us for what we did to you? They're terrified of him. And rightfully so, they were terrified of him. One second, please forgive me for uh, things being a little off today. I have got a giant dog sitting at my feet right here. She is a little clingy today. I guess all the rainstorms have uh, got her feeling a little timid. <laughs> giant guard dog having a mood swing, right? So Joseph told them because he could see that they were super upset and they were genuinely afraid that they were going to be executed for what they did to him when he was 17. And Joseph told them not to be upset with themselves for what they did because he said God sent him to Egypt. God sent him to where he is and where he was, not them. God used their actions and used their decisions to, to facilitate the plan that he had for Joseph. Joseph was meant to be the leader of a great land. He was meant to save people from starvation because of the famine that had roared throughout the land. So Joseph tried to make his brothers feel better by telling them, it wasn't you and your awfulness that sent me here. It was God. Because if God did not want me to be here, God would not have put me here. Right? Think about that. That his purpose was to save Egypt, to preserve the land, to prepare the way for the nation of Israel to be born. I got to tell you guys, this morning I have studied five whole days of Bible study in one setting. I was super sick this last week, and I can tell you, the nation of Israel, it's coming up real soon. In fact, I'm going to look ahead just one day or two. Oh yeah, in fact... I'm going to say within the next two lessons, yeah, the next two lessons you guys are going to say, you guys are going to see how we go from Joseph, you know, Jacob's kid now named, you know, J Jacob is now Israel, right? Going from the governor of, of Egypt's lands to millions of Jacob's descendants and descendants of his children creating the nation of Israel. You guys, it's going to be trippy. So back to Joseph's brothers, right? He told them that he was meant to save their lives from the famine so that they needed to they needed to forgive themselves of the guilt that they were carrying around all these years. And we're talking like 20 something years, almost 30 years, right, since since they had sold him into slavery because it was 20 years. Uh, yeah, about 20 years. It's about 20 years. They've been carrying this guilt around for decades. And not only that, but they were terrified. They were terrified of their brother now because he was an important guy. So word got to the Pharaoh that Joseph's brothers were visiting in Egypt, you know, there to buy food. And the Pharaoh, because he was super grateful to Joseph for 
sharing God's word with him and warning them all of the famine and saving all of the people. So the Pharaoh treated Joseph like a special guy because he was, he was a special guy. And he told Joseph to give his brothers carts to go get their wives and their children and grandchildren and his father, to give them provisions for their trip and told them that the best land of Egypt would be theirs. Remember that, super important that you remember that this Pharaoh, this particular president, king of the country of Egypt, was so grateful to Joseph for saving the people of Egypt from starving to death that he told Joseph that his whole family was welcomed to be invited to Egypt, that the Pharaoh, the president of the country, would give his whole family land to live on, that land would be theirs. Remember that, super important, super, super important. The Pharaoh also gifted Joseph's family uh, and he told Joseph to tell his brothers, in Genesis 45, 18, and bring your father and your families back to me. I will give you the best of the land of Egypt and you can enjoy the fat of the land. So that means that this was a gift. This was a thank you gift to Joseph for his family to be treated so well, to receive these things. These were gifts from the Pharaoh to Joseph's family as a thank you for saving endless amounts of people from starving to death, right? So the brothers went back to Canaan to tell Jacob, who's now known as Israel, that Jacob, you know, Jacob didn't believe them, that Joseph was alive. Not only was he alive, but the president, the king, the pharaoh of the whole country says he was going to give all of their family the best land and that they were going to be specially, you know, special people there because of what his son, who he thought was dead, had did, you know, had done. J uh, Jacob didn't believe them. The brothers told him everything that they had experienced when they went to Egypt and showed him the carts full of provisions that the Pharaoh told Joseph to give his brothers to take back. Now, the provisions were very special things, things that were hard to find, especially when there is a famine. So we're talking things like oils and perfumes and exotic foods and clothes. So Jacob saw all of these things in these carts and these donkeys that were given to them to carry all these things and to bring back the family. So there's a lot happening here that the brothers couldn't do unless what they were saying was true. So Jacob finally believed that his son, the one he thought was dead for the last 20 something years was alive. And he said, I will go and see him before I die. This was a really exciting, exciting Bible study. And I know I'm a couple of days late, but still, we're going to rock and roll all these videos out today, one right after the other. And the way that I'm going to be able to do that is because these videos are going to be done a little bit differently. I know I formerly used a lot of graphics to help understand the lesson, but the Holy Spirit told me I was missing I was missing the point of getting these videos out every day and just stop with the graphics. So with the exception of the title and the page, the pages and the, the verses that we're studying, I will no longer be including graphics for the most part. So I hope you guys still enjoy these videos and forgive me. But the lesson for today for Genesis chapter 45 verses 1 through 28, the lesson that I understood it to be in, your understanding might be different and you know that's okay because this is a daily Bible study for super newbies, right? And I'm one of them, so I'm one of you. So if, you're, if your understanding of the lesson is different, please, please contribute. Please write what your understanding is in the comments. I would love to hear what you believe because we all may get a different message, right? But the lesson I received was that even after a terrible betrayal, his brothers sold him into slavery, Joseph still forgave his brothers. He saw what they did and understood that God used what they had done, that horrible betrayal, to place him where he was supposed to be. So to forgive others like God forgives us when we sin. This is a good reminder for when we experience really, really awful times in life, especially if those awful times are caused by somebody else. God uses people 
He uses experiences and he uses ordinary everyday things, and yes, even betrayals, to facilitate the path that we are meant to travel. God also wants us to forgive people who do us wrong because none of us are sinless and every one of us has screwed up and that screw up, that sin, that awful decision. Okay, sorry about that bark thing. I, uh, I bring my dogs into the recording studio. <laughs> I say I love my dogs. I really do. I love my dogs. Oh, nope, that didn't work out either. Hold on one second. It's a thing. Okay, so I, I do. I love my dogs. I take them everywhere just because they're my pets and my kids are all grown. Okay, so back to what we were saying. God wants us to forgive people who do us wrong because the things that people do when they do us wrong are meant to happen, to put us on the path that we are meant to travel. But that God also forgives us when we do people wrong, when we do wrong things, God forgives us. And if we expect to receive that forgiveness from God, we are taught and expected to give that forgiveness to other people. So, you guys, this video will be uploaded and in about a half hour, the next video, and then in another half hour, the next video. So by the end of today, we are going to be all caught up because Holy Spirit told me to. So with that, I tell you, I love you. God loves you. The Holy Spirit loves you. And Jesus Christ, the Son of God, loves you. Have an amazing day, you guys. I will see you tomorrow.